A former Dallas Push. police officer, Brian yeah. Reiser, who was arrested on charges related to capital murder, was released today. Prosecutors agreed that they lacked the evidence needed to move forward with the case. All charges of capital murder were dropped. Riser has served 13 years in the Dallas police force, but was fired Drop after it. he was charged Center in up. this investigation. Ready to tell One week has passed package? in the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. Now, witnesses from both the prosecution and the defense have testified on what use of force looks like. In Minneapolis, Ready three, six, five. Take three, Q. Three, start your push. Bring it in. Bring the camera two. The email displays the IRS logo and uses various subject lines such as tax refund payment or recalculation of your tax refund payment and asks people to click a link to submit their information. UNT advises students to read through the IRS's tax tips to learn more about the scam as well as information about their identity protection home program. And take two. So what are your plans for the you weekend, Taylor? Well, weather. I'm hoping to go down to Dallas to visit weather friends, bomb. actually. That sounds like a good time. Let's hope that there is some clear skies down south. What does Donald so, have for it? Roll. This is on. Ready, ready weather. Ready, Donald? This is all. You, Donald. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm going to be roll. Roll all the weekend plans. Wait, the goal is this the end? Or where's right the crashes? Right 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 across North Texas. 77 in Graham. 73 in Decatur and 73 in Jenkins. So roughly the same temperatures across North Texas. Let's take a look at what I So coming out of this, I need you to ready. The state. A little bit warm in El Paso. 70 in Amarillo and 78 in Abilene. Now let's check out what our 70 forecast has in store. Today our hearts, today our eyes made it. You guys ready to toss one? And for the next two days, we'll be in the 80s. Yo, Friday, you got toss one ready? Weather aware, as some storms could be on the strong to severe side. Saturday will be weather. followed by a warm up on Sunday and possible rain showers yeah. next week. Yeah. And finally, if you want to clarify a tip to stay safe Joe in severe you weather, if you don't if you find I'm yourself in a tornado situation, don't take shelter under an overpass. Yeah. Instead, pull off the road and seek shelter in a building. That's all I have for you guys. Back to you at the desk. Q. Thanks, Donald. Denton County is ready to buy white our reporter, Jocelyn Lasseter, is live at the building time. that will soon become a refuge for Denton's homeless. White, Q. 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 Thanks, Andrew. Oh, there an I'm here at what was soon to be the new location for the new Denton's homeless shelter. Now, this building was at once was a nursing home. However, it is now set to be the new headquarters for the organization, The Junction of Denton oh. County. Now, the purchase of the site was made back in 2020 with the hopes of expanding the organization's operation and services. The new building is set to have four wings, a kitchen, program services, and two separate shelters. One will house 120 beds, while the other shelter will hold an additional 32. The building at the time of the purchase was completely gutted and then refurbished for this purpose. Now, the shelter will provide extended resources for those who are experiencing homelessness, and it will also help while they look for permanent solutions. That's all I have here. Back to you in the studio. Take two. Thanks, Jocelyn. After the break, we'll introduce you to the Levitation that's expanding her state empire. And now we are able to buy a Tesla with something other than money. Stay with us after the break. Dissolve. Roll. Many still of the tree colds and flu can take the sun back on camera to create really great So let's kill the dirty over the shop. All right, guys, near flawless show. Um, I'm really impressed with everybody's work ethic. And on this one, we had almost everybody in the control room call out, and almost everybody was filled in. So thank you for all of you guys' work coming in, helping out, doing jobs that go above and beyond.